This is my second book critique video for Children's Literature EDU 318. I will be giving a review of eight books throughout the video. My first featured text is Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman, and it's a fantasy picture book that won the Caldecott Medal. The lesson provided for this book focuses on social studies and English language arts. It is for first grade and helps students examine the responsibilities of the individual in the story. And with support from their teacher, they will explore digital tools to produce an artifact to help them recognize different themes throughout the book. Students will listen to the story first and then discuss the message of the story. They will identify the officer's duties as a cop and explain why those are important. They will discuss his different safety tips listed throughout the book and share one with a partner. With the help of their teacher, they will use the digital tool Pick Funky to create a small artifact displaying rules that they think are important for our school to know. They will share them with their teacher and then they will be displayed in the hall. Here's the artifact that I have provided, and it lists some of my classroom rules that I would expect. The second book is called Why Mosquitoes Buzz in People's Ears, and this book really focuses on the underlying theme of how things can get twisted or that we should always learn the story first before we blame others because we may not know the reason behind things when we first blame or suspect something and this book won the Caldecott medal as well it's very colorful and illustrates the message that they're trying to get across very nicely the third book is me and mama and this is a cultural picture book that won the Caldecott honor and the Curtis Scott honor and this book really displays the message of closeness and always having someone to fall back on to make you happy and it's very colorful the wording is very thoughtful and it depicts a different meaning throughout the story with the use of colors and really focuses on the tone of the story throughout each individual page the fourth book is an illustrative book and it is based on a true story the author was um, part of the wall experience, and he grew up behind the wall and experienced the falling of the wall as well. And throughout his time, he experienced the Cold War, and he tells about his life, and he really enjoyed drawing, so all the pictures throughout the story are his and he was in the Young Pioneers, and depicts all of these different experiences throughout the book. So I think that this is a great book to be used in a social studies class, although that it would require a higher level of thinking because the drawings are so realistic, and they have a deeper meaning behind them than what meets the eye. Book number five is White Snow, Bright Snow. And this is a poetry picture book. It starts off with a poem and then leads into a story. And I think that this would be a great book to use to teach the different seasons. And it talks about all the different activities. And I think that you could use it to describe the differences of cause and effect throughout um, the different seasons. What causes us to do things in summer that we don't do in winter and vice versa, the warm weather, the cold weather, and different examples just like that. Book number six really focuses on how we should all treat everyone equally, and I think that although this is a cultural race book, it could be used in a classroom to show that although we may look different or act different, it narrates the story in a way that doesn't just focus on the race aspect of it, it shows that we all deserve equal treatment and that we should all respect one another for our um, differences. 
but also acknowledge someone's effort and everything that they do as well. Book number seven is A Wrinkle in Time, and it's a fantasy book, and it won the Newbery Medal. And then the final book is Waterless Mountain, and this is a historical fiction book that I also feel would fit in really nice with a social studies lesson as well and focuses on real life scenarios that happened in the past. These are all eight books for the second critique video and that is the final one.